Hey everyone, it's Marie Shope from Basiglio Sheridan and Shope, and today we're going to talk about premises liability. What is premises liability? It's commonly referred to sometimes as slip and falls. Um, it can be if you tripped on an unsafe condition in somebody's parking lot. Um, there's a wide range of things, but it's basically the premise that a property owner has the duty to keep their property reasonably safe. And it hinges upon what type of person is injured on their property as to what duty they owe each respective person. The first type of person that a property owner may owe a duty to is called an invitee. So for example, at a grocery store, customers shopping there during business hours are business invitees of that property. That means they are owed the highest duty of care by the grocery store, for example, to keep their property reasonably safe. Do the inspections to make sure there's no water on the floor. Make sure that the parking lot is in good condition, that it doesn't cause somebody to trip over something because there's large potholes or a seam in the cracks that may be uneven. The next type of person that a property owner could owe a duty to is what we call a licensee. Think of these as sort of social guests, someone that is not there for necessarily a business purpose, but that you invite over to your home. Licensees are typically owed a duty of care that's not as strict as an invitee, but also not as low as a trespasser, which we'll talk about next. It's an intermediate level of care that hinges on a lot of technical things. I'd be glad to discuss it with you if you want to call me and, and see what category you or your loved one might be in um, and see what duty of care they're owed. The next type of person that a property owner may be liable to is a trespasser. These are very limited circumstances that hinges on a lot of case by case specifics. So I don't want to make any generalizations, but a trespasser is owed the lowest duty of care by a property owner. If you or your loved one finds yourself in a situation where you suffered a slip and fall, say at a grocery store, Try your best to first focus on getting better, getting help, getting medical treatment. But also, if anyone's with you, have them get a copy of the incident report that's made. There should be an incident report made and you should contact an attorney as soon as reasonably possible because you don't want to lose evidence. Your attorney can send what's called a letter of preservation to make sure any videos that may be on a loop that will be deleted after a certain amount of time is preserved for later use. The next thing you'll want to do is just keep a list of any and all medical treating facilities that you go to, doctors, the hospitals, ambulance names. You'll want to keep a list of that. It'll help your attorney later in knowing where to order your medical records from and make sure that your billing is accounted for and that that's requested when they make a demand to the at-fault party. If you find yourself a victim of a premises liability case, you could be entitled to your medical expenses being paid, any lost wages for time missed from work, pain and suffering depending on the injuries, any additional expenses that you've incurred as a result of your injuries. If you or someone you know has been a victim of a slip and fall or other premises liability issue, please call us at Basiglio Sheridan Show and let us help you. We'll walk you through the process and we will let you know exactly what to expect step by step.